everybody and welcome to Cubone. My name is Quentin. Today is another Helldivers 2 weekly update and I'm trying something a little differently today. If I manage to get everything edited properly, you should be seeing this video Wednesday morning as opposed to Wednesday night. As a result of that, there is no news for Wednesday itself. We only have the news up to Tuesday night. So I'd like to begin right away by getting into our weekly news. Last Tuesday, we began a brand new major order, having to get through Acer Pass up to Marfark and Vernon Wells, two planets that were under bot control, with Marfark holding potential materials for the anti-tank mines we've been after for so long, and Vernon Wells housing a children's hospital left over from when we still controlled the planet. They sent out a distress signal, and we had to go get them. But first, we were still working on Acer Pass, and as Wednesday kicked off, Acer Pass grew to almost 75% fluctuating heavily between liberation rates. The planet was finally cleared around 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and to my surprise, only 6,000 divers went to Marfark, with over 33,000 instead choosing to secure Liberty's future on Vernon Wells. With the liberation rate fluctuating between one and two days, it seemed we'd have time to clear it, but what about Marfark? In the major order, it said likely to be saved, and at the time, I thought we could call Arrowhead's bluff and save both. Through Thursday on the galactic scale, not much changed with Vernon Wells fighting back heavily, settling just below 60% by 4 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and fluctuating from 15 hours up to a full day before we'd have it liberated. This is despite over 60,000 Helldivers planetside, nearly double the previous nights, and no change in regen. Something fishy was going on here. More importantly, though, was the release of not only the new war bond, the Viper Commandos, but the long-awaited patch notes. My video on the two is linked below, or click the card up here. God, I hope that's the right side. Back to the war, Vernon Wells was liberated around 7.30 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and nearly 40,000 divers jumped to Marfark. The liberation rate was climbing, but with less than 24 hours on the major order, getting this second planet would be rough. More importantly, we must celebrate that we did successfully save the children. Good job, Helldivers. Even as we fought on, Marfark could not be saved in time, and we received a new Intel report. Intel report! The automatons appear to have become aware of our efforts to liberate the anti-tank mine materials, on Marfark, and have initiated operations to transport the material off-planet. Within 24 hours, it will be too late to secure the materials. Workers at anti-tank mine factories have been notified that their employment may be terminated. So I and Super Earth both want you to know that those employees are going to lose their jobs, and most likely their lives. And it's your fault. Good job, Helldivers. As a result of the bots moving the anti-tank mine materials off-planet, we did fail the major order. The Helldivers succeeded in liberating Vernon Wells in time to save the civilians trapped within. Already, the very sick children are en route to Super Citizen Mary's Hospital for Tragically Ill Youths, where they will receive the best care the Federation has to offer. Wh where, where is this hospital at? Are we gonna have to save them there, too? Their daring rescue has captured the spirits of all of Super Earth's citizens. A crowdsourced fund will pay for the remainder of their care and their military academy training. The children, in an inspiring act of patriotic gratitude, have all signed MOD Form 11, intent to enlist. Once grown, they will join the ranks of Seif and carry the torch of heroic valor that saved their lives. Marfark remains in automaton hands. The bots have moved the explosives cache deeper within their territory. MD-17 anti-tank mine factories have been shuttered for the time being, following multiple successive material shortfalls. The adult and pre-adult workers in those factories have been reassigned to other gainful and safe employment. What, hang on, go back. Pre-adult workers? It's good to know that Super Earth is so ready to get all of our citizens working towards the war effort. Every single one. But as Friday changed to Saturday, a new major order began, however, and I have a note for that one as well. Briefing! Terminated population levels remain at unmanageable levels. Containment has demanded a steep, constant expenditure of soldiers and ammunitions. The Terminids must be flushed out from the Mirren and Draco sectors, securing those planets for our citizens and reducing the population to a manageable size and footprint. A new Hive Breaker drill, repurposed from the Tectonic drill used to destroy the Super Colony, has been developed as a more effective tool for fully eradicating Terminid swarms. Now the Helldivers can eradicate millions of Terminids larvae in their subterranean nurseries before they're able to grow into ravenous, tyranny-spreading monstrosities. Deploy to the Terminid-infested planets and eradicate their juvenile vermin with quality super-Earth-built nuclear devices. Five planets in six days is a tall order, though, and as divers began with Crimsica, it appeared we might be too spread out. Crimsica estimated it nearly three days on its own. 
Even as divers continued fighting for Crimson Cut through Saturday, it wasn't until the bugs began to fatigue at around 7 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Sunday that progress was made. Thankfully, hell divers never grow tired, and we kept on it through Sunday, breaking through more than 12 hours later at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Given the late hours, only 30,000 divers were on Astanu through Sunday night, with 5 and 3,000 for Fori Prime and Hellmire, respectively. With only 16% of Astanu liberated, we were estimated at just under a day to liberate with over five days to go on the major order, we were making good progress. This continued on through Monday morning as Astanu gradually approached 50%. Incredibly, by Monday evening, Astanu had been cleared, with divers splitting somewhat. Nearly 42,000 went to 40 Prime, and only 10,000 on Hellmire. But we had five days to complete the major order, so this wasn't much cause for concern. Through the rest of Monday, more divers made their way to 40 Prime. And throughout Tuesday, we gradually cleared it, holding the planet by 2.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, leaving Hellmire and Nivel 43. We were on track with Hellmire as well, having 49,000 divers and Nivel 43 having 13,000. Unfortunately, as we fought for the major order, a new defense began on new planet Esker, as the bugs appeared to begin migrating to the galactic north. Theoretically, we could take Nivel 43 and cut off supply lines, stopping the defense that way, but it seemed unlikely we'd make it in time. We'd likely have to cut off bugs a different way once we'd cleared the major order. Finally, we received an ominous new intel report. Abnormally high levels of interstellar spore emissions have been observed from the terminated planets currently being liberated. Scientists assess this dispersal may be a survival adaptation in response to the destruction of their nurseries. It is unlikely to cause any long-term problems. Helldivers are advised to continue the operation with unaltered aggression. This is lovely. And here I was a little worried we'd have to deal with more bugs on more planets. Thankfully, Super Earth has reassured us that we've got this, and there's nothing to worry about whatsoever. But that is the end of my weekly recap of Helldivers 2. Let me know how you like this new format. I've been recording and editing it throughout the week, so it's been a significantly less strenuous version of this on me. Unfortunately, as of editing this, I'm not done with the Viper Commandos and Patch Notes video, and I don't know when I will be. Hopefully I can still get it done this week. Regardless, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to be gay and do crimes, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.